Hi, welcome to ERC Tips Knowledge. For today, I will be showing you how to do the traffic lights using Arduino Uno. The first thing that you have to do is to open Tinkercad.com. I'm assuming that you already have your account. Here, you have to click circuits followed by create new circuit. Afterwards, you will be seeing a blank circuit and all you have to do is to click on the resistor and drag it to the left and for this example, we need three resistors. Then, you have to click the LED also. So we also need three LEDs. But of course, the colors of the LEDs will be red yellow and green therefore we will be changing the second one with yellow and the third one will make it green like this now we need to take the arduino uno from the choices and put it there in the middle and then we also need the breadboard okay Then, what we will do next is to put the LED on its correct positions or whichever part of the breadboard you want the LEDs to be. So right now, I'm putting the red on this side from column 10. And then, of course, we need one resistor either connected on the anode or the cathode. It doesn't really matter. But for this example, I will be connecting it on the anode so i'll put it here on the right side like this that's it so my resistor is connected to anode and then the resistor will be connected later on to the digital pin of the arduino next we put the other two leds we put the yellow now and then we put also the resistor on the cathode oh sorry on the anode and then we put the resistor on the anode of the yellow LED. And then the green also. With its anode with resistor also. So double check if you have uh, connected the resistors properly. And then if it is okay, you connect the resistor of the red LED on digital pin number 13 like this. Okay. And to make it uh, better, we can make the wire red. The resistor of the yellow LED will now be connected to digital pin number 12. So from the anode of the yellow LED, it will go to the resistor. And then from the resistor, it will go to the digital pin number 12. And then the last one, the green LED's resistor will go to digital pin number 11. Now the wires must be uh, color coded so that it will be easier for us to identify it. So in the case of the yellow wire, we have to make it uh, yellow okay? because it's still green now for the yellow LED, I mean. So now it's red, yellow, and green wires connected to digital pin 13, 12, and 11. Now for the cathode of the red LED, cathode of the yellow LED, and the cathode of the green LED, all of them must be connected to the same ground or negative side of the breadboard. So as you can see, I made the colors of the wire black too. And then all of these negative connections must be connected to the 
G and D of the Arduino or the ground of the Arduino. So as you can see here, the anodes, uh, sorry, the cathodes of the LEDs are connected to the negative of the breadboard. Now from the negative side of the breadboard or line, we will uh, connect it to the ground of the Arduino Uno. Like this. So I'm now trying to connect it on the ground. And then later on, we will make the color of this wire to be green, uh, to be black. Now like that. Now it's okay. Now it's complete. And we can double check. But if everything is okay, now we can click code and then blocks and then text. And then let's just click continue and uh, it will display immediately the default code or sample code for blinking the LED. Now, in the example before, we only have one output LED. Now, we have to use three. Therefore, I'll be using digital pin 13, 12, and 11 for our output. And this will be colored red, yellow, and green, respectively. Now, for the delay, we will be using six seconds for green. So, I need to change the delay to 6,000. By the way, 6,000 means 6,000 milliseconds, which is equal to 6 seconds. On the other hand, for the yellow, we will just use 3,000 so that it will just have a delay of 3 seconds. And for the green, we will again make it 6 seconds so that there will be a 6 seconds delay. You can put some comments if you, will, if you are confused. So this is better if you are just a beginner, you can put comments so that you know what you are doing. So here now, I'm making the, the other LEDs off. So when the green is on, the yellow and the red must be off. So we put low on the command, like what I'm doing now. So as you can see, green will be on, and then yellow and red will be off. And then next, the yellow will be on. And then green and red must be off. So I'll make the green low and I'll make yellow high and then I'll make red low. And then the last one, red will be high and the yellow and green will be low. As you can see, I'm uh, doing it on the program. And then to make it clear, I'll put on which is on and which is off so that it's uh, easier to understand later on. For some, uh, for some other programmers who wants to read your program or for even for you. That's it. We can start simulating now. Start simulation and you will see that the green LED will be on for 6 seconds. Followed by the yellow LED which will be on for 3 seconds. And lastly, the red LED will be on for 6 seconds. And this will be done repeatedly until uh, the power of the Arduino is already off. So while Arduino Uno is on, then this will always run. So as you can see, we have just completed another example, which is a simple traffic light. So the traffic lights that you're seeing here is not really as long as uh, the delay is not as long as the real traffic lights because we don't have that much time to wait for it if we will make it 30 seconds by the way you have to change the name of this to uh, simple traffic lights so on the upper left corner you have to type the name to describe the project that you have done so let's take another look so green, followed by yellow, followed by red. So this is the simple traffic lights that uh, we, we did today. I hope you understand it and please like and subscribe and share this YouTube channel. I hope it helps you in whatever project you're starting on.